Greetings everyone, Marquee TV. Uh, special guest today, we've got uh, Aurelio Montes from Kaiken Winery in Argentina. And we just had a lengthy discussion on Argentinian wine in Malbec. And I will preface this. Uh, when I was in Argentina, what I found was the wines to be kind of uninteresting, monolithic. Uh, regular Malbec was good, then the reservas, more alcohol, more oak, Grand Reservas, even more alcohol, more oak. And they're going the other way on this. And ex I'm going to explain what you're doing with your Sauvignon Blanc and your, your Malbecs and this, this terroir. What I'm trying to do, you know, it's to show the world that Argentina is more than Malbec. And we're working with Sauvignon Blanc, we're working with Cabernet Franc, we're working with blends, amazing blend with Bonarda, Petit Verdot. The thing is that Argentina has a different terroir, different places, and I'm playing with the terroir. Terroir is what gives you more complexity, not more oak, not more aging, not more uh, pump overs or whatever. Botox. Uh, exactly. So it's a, it's a thing of really making wine from the roots. And uh, what we're having here is really wine from different places, from the very high altitude, mild with 1,500 meter high, 1,600 meter high Sauvignon Blanc. We're having you know, a blend from different places, from, from, from Tupungato, Gualtellari, Altamira, and, uh, and Agrelo. So, you know, Argentina has many things to show. I feel, you know, I'm passionate about terroir. And this is a good example of what we are doing. Well, this this little wine, which I like, we'll just talk about this one, is the uh, terroir, what's the last word? Fiers? Serious. Serious. Oh, serious. Sorry, I thought yeah. it was an F. Uh, the drop, dropped a little thing across. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's Malbec, Bonauder, and Petit Verdot. And here's what I liked about the wine. It just had layers. The, the, the Petit Verdot gave it acidity. Malbec, of course, gives it that structure. And, and the Bonarda gives it kind of like that richness, like Syrah, that, you know, a little... I don't want to say gaminess, but a little, a little bit more broadness on the palate. So this is a pretty cool wine. I really liked it, and uh, hopefully we're gonna we'll see them in in, in the market. Uh, for people wishing to visit uh, Argentina and touring the wine countries, what do you recommend? What, do you think, what should they, where should they? The three must visit regions. Where should they go? In Argentina, of course. First of all, Mendoza, definitely. Yes, Mendoza is eighty percent of the production of wine in the wine industry. Yeah. Cafayate in Salta is the most energetic, amazing place to visit. And of course, because I like, I like to snow, to San Martin. San Martin is the most beautiful. I love okay. it. So it's the place you, you, can, you cannot go there. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, going to Argentina is not only wine. It's more than wine. So it's a, a lot of fun, a lot of meat. Prepare to, be, to eat meat. a lot of meat. Meat, meat, and meat. Exactly. Oh, oh let me do a barbecue. Oh, let me do a barbecue. <laughs> barbecue. Oh, let me do a barbecue. <laughs> It is, it is. All right. Well, thanks for listening. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.